Okay, so I've decided to try and make a uh, series of videos about my uh, Video Nasty collection. I've been collecting the DP39 preset tapes since sort of late sort of, um, October last year. Um, at the moment I've got about 37 of the 39, but I'm hoping by the time that I get around to, uh, to talking about these other tapes, which I don't have yet, I will actually have them. I've already got one which I'm kind of in the process of buying. And the other one shouldn't be too hard to get. So today I'm going to start out with looking at my A section. And uh, first up we have Absurd. Um, what can I say about this tape? I've not actually watched it yet, so I uh, don't know what the playback's like. But I will I will play each of these tapes, or at least a, a part of them, just to kind of like show you what playback's like on each one. Um, I've never seen the film before. Um, so, but I know it's a sort of sort of sequel to Amphro the Lo Amphro the Beast, which is directed by on this one here. It says directed by Peter Newton, which is actually an alias for Joe. What's his name? Joe DeMatteo, whatever his name is. Joe DeMatteo. Um, yeah, and it has the same uh, George Eastman's in it again, and he plays the same sort of character as he did in Amphro the Beast. Um, Basically, with this one, I got the tape first. I won it in an eBay auction. I got it for thirty pounds. Um, and for a while, I just had the the tape in a standard case. I got this. This case was given to me. I think it's a Medusa case because it has the kind of raised bubble. I think it's an, an unbranded Medusa case. But um, feel free to correct me on that if I'm wrong. Um, so yeah. So for a while, I I just had a couple of copied sleeves. So I had this one, which which I printed out myself, um, it's a bit, bit crappy really, and I had another one made up um, which was actually laminated because the guy who made it for me said that sometimes with these laser laser printed sleeves, um, if they're not laminated they can start to sort of break down in these old cases, it's something to do with the plastic used for the uh, the clear plastic on these old puffy cases, it kind of reacts with the laser laser print and it can start to kind of bubble and sort of like stick to the inside of the case so I had that for a while but obviously having a copy sleeve isn't very good so I managed to get a hold of an original sleeve now, the sleeve I got actually has this kind of corner cut out which I think is because it's a sample sleeve but it's a genuine sleeve it's an original sleeve from the 1980s um, but at the moment it, it's good enough I got that this, I paid £30 for the sleeve and £30 for the tape so it was £60 all in. Um, I know there are two different versions of the film out there. One's the uncut version and one's the cut version. I believe that the difference is that the cut version has a like a little hologram on the side there. And I think the hologram is on the, the sleeve as well. But this one has no hologram so I assume this is the uncut version and so I've got the right kind of sleeve for it as well. Also I think the uncut version sleeve is a card as opposed to a papery sleeve like this one. So there we go. So so far £60 for my uh, my collection and uh, we'll just check playback. <laughs>
Next on my list is, on the, on the DPP list of, of videos I've got, is, let's try and say this, is Anthropopagus the Beast. I probably said that wrong, and I'm probably going to be laughed at for it. Um, now this is quite a, quite a good find actually getting this one. Um, I had seen one on eBay for about 200 quid, I think 250 quid, which I was kind of considering buying. And then I think it was Craig Minkley pointed out there was a guy on um, Preset who had a stack of videos he'd just recently picked up. And I had looked through them and saw this one on there. So I emailed him, I think his name was Mark, and I emailed him and I said, you know, how much, how much do you want for it? And he said, oh, make me an offer. So I offered him 90 quid for it. And he came back and he said, oh, do, do it for 100, do it for 100 posted. So that was a pretty good score, particularly as I know recently there was a bootleg version of this film on eBay, which went for 140 quid. Now, I don't know if the buyer knew it was a bootleg of the film, but the, with, with that one, it had a bigger top label. And um, it, apparently it came from um, this shop in London who made a load of bootlegs and they sort of did like oversized labels in order to to make collectors not realise or to make collectors know that they are bootlegs. But I don't know if the guy who brought it is aware of what he's actually got. Um, tape itself is actually in pretty good nick. Um, once again, I've not played this version yet, but I'll play it in a minute. I have seen this film before, but I watched the very cut Hollywood DVD version um, under the name The Grim Reaper, which I quite enjoyed. It's, it's, it's a fun enough little film. Um, sleeve is in pretty damn good nick, I think. Pretty good condition. Um, the box itself, when I first got it, I noticed it said GVC on the inside. So I was thinking, oh, I'm going to have to try and find myself a VFP case to go with it. But I've been told that, in fact, the GVC um, company was actually owned by VFP. And these cases are actually quite rare. So it's, it's actually, even though it's not a VFP case, it's it's from the same um, company. So, so it's just as good to have that, if not even a little bit better, than having an original VFP case. Um, so, so I paid a hundred pound all in for this. Um, so if we just stick it in the VCR and check playback on this one. Finally, to complete the, all the A's in the uh, DPP list, is Axe. Now this one proved to be quite tricky to get a hold of, mainly because about a year ago there was a, an auction on eBay where for some reason two bidders got this the price of one of these tapes up with a, with a photocopied sleeve as well. They got it up for two, about, about 290 quid, and then since then there's been a few which have been sold for around the £300 mark. But before then, these tapes were selling for about 80 quid. So I'm not entirely sure why that one particular one particular tape went for so high. Um, so it has kind of skewed the uh, the valuation a bit. And there's been a couple on eBay with buy nails of around 300, which have been sat there for months and months on end and haven't sold. So I don't think it's really worth 300 quid. I think it's still only a 100, 150 100, pound tape. Um, I got this one off a guy called Christopher King, who sold me a few other bits and pieces. Um, he asked me to make an offer, so I offered uh, 80, I think, and then he came back and said, I'll do it for 90. So I was pretty pleased with that. Um, also, what's very good about this one is that the sleeve hasn't been trimmed. Often with these video network, network releases, because they're oversized sleeves, they will get trimmed to, to be put into like normal size boxes. Um, this one, although it's not been trimmed, it has been folded to fit in there. 
but I just unfolded it. Um, when I got it, it didn't come in the original box, so I've been looking around and um, after a while, a guy called Ross Framp got in touch and said he actually had an original video network box and he'd sell it to me for 10 quid. So all in, the box and the tape and everything came to 100 quid. Um, the tape itself is in pretty good nick as well. It's the, the label, the side label's pretty uh, pretty nice condition. Um, it's all clean. Um, I have watched this film. I haven't watched this tape of this film, but I have watched the film a while ago um, on a DVD. Um, it was it was alright, I suppose. Can't really remember much about it. I mean, it's quite a slow film. Um, not much happens, but it's got a quite quite a nice atmosphere to it. Um, but let's put this into the VCR and see what playback's like. On behalf of the motion picture industry, welcome to the world of home video entertainment. At the conclusion of this feature film, you will find a selection of coming attractions available on the VRO network labels. Just before the program starts, Please read the copyright notice now showing on your screen. And note that the material and its accompanying soundtrack is covered by copyright. It is an infringement of law to copy this material, or to sell or show any unauthorized copy. So don't do it. And now, on with the program. That's the end of the first uh, first part of my videos looking at my preset DPP39 collection and if we just tot up the value so far it was 60 quid for Absurd, £100 for Anthro the Beast and £100 for Axe so we're up to 260 quid so far. Um, but I get the feeling that when I move on to the B section the price is going to go up somewhat, somewhat more because of the first title which I'll be looking at. But uh, yeah, 